player from Poland missing the long three. Brown at the other end goes behind the back. Robertson, baseline. And it's 10-0 UConn, and we haven't played two minutes yet. They're matching up a little bit out of it, Bob. Plavik playing at the head of that zone. Robertson for three. Year ago, Bob Robertson was second on UConn in threes. Shot clock now at 10. Robertson with the pull-up. Got it. That was way too easy. Howard was faked out of his pants. Not adept. First two points for Thornton. Robertson with the pull-up. He's a nice player, isn't he? UConn runs it down up 20. This is good practice in game situations at some point in the season. This might matter. And Robertson will finish the half a perfect five for five. Why Major League Baseball teams don't play double headers anymore. Separate admits. <laughs> Same applies here. Robertson in transition off the feed from Butler. Gordon gives to Brown. Left side Robertson for three. Got it. him down the court and Tony Robertson's got his first basket it's Robertson and Butler four white jerseys and an easy bucket locker room you know within within a point or two playing UConn very tough in this first half Tony Robertson knocks down a three and Robertson Robertson might have gotten away with a walk as he caught that ball and moved the pivot foot off the off by Gordon, he gets an open three, and he's nailed two in a row. Connecticut seemed to take some of the steam out of the Wildcats with that late run. End of the first. Robertson, they give it to him, and he makes it in the first half, and now it's all gone Connecticut's way. Gordon's made 8 of 11 field goals. And that one goes! This time, it's Tony Robertson. We're fairly Dickinson and Indiana. And they've beaten Georgetown twice here in this arena. Three-pointer is good. T.W. goes to his zone defense. T.W. in the zone defense now. Here's the buster. Missed. The follows a beauty. And score the goal. A foul is called. For Coach Jim Calhoun. Robertson with the basketball. Streaking ahead. Absolutely undaunted by Lonnie Baxter. Nice finish there. The glass for UConn. The Huskies can move it as close as one here. The three. Robertson disdains that and goes right to the glass with a floater. From outside the three point line in the game. Wilcox and Holden continue their carousel in and out. And Robertson finds the range. And then shoots a tough shot over Robertson. Rebound to Leek Brown. Three on three. UConn break. Robertson for three. And he's already attempted as many threes tonight as he did in 30 minutes against Maryland. Finish inside by right. Selvi kick out on the left. Wide open three for Robertson, his second of the night. Unselfish, give up the good shot that Selvi had. 99 has had all kinds of medical and physical problems during his career. Right side, Robertson with his third three of the night. Tony Robertson. Malik Brown, right side, Robertson, catch and shoot, his fourth three of the night. Through half-court offense. Robertson, good shooter from the outside, puts it on the floor, pulls it from there, got it. Tony Robertson, playing with a lot of confidence. Crisp, you got to make Sam cuts, and you got to make the 15-18 footer. Robertson with the shot. There you go, for three. Indy! That's four blocks for Okafor tonight. In a hurry, Robertson off the glass. Got it. Good ball, good ball control on that one. A little kiss by Tony in the open floor. Yeah, now nah, he's had some tough luck. He's hit his shot chart looks pretty good in terms of location, but he hasn't had results. And look at the Tony on the break. Drills a three. Timeout, you man. And look who's enjoying it the most. Tilly, TB Brown giving it up where he can do some damage in the puppy set by Robertson. They feel comfortable with him. Robertson in a hurry. Tony Robertson, big time delivery. Mr. Robertson, shot pocket 10, 259 on the game clock. Robertson fires, take the for three. Oh, a little early onions with that one, huh? It's in highlights in the first half for this one. Robertson, end to end, just like it was diagrammed. Zadaris. 
Finds Robertson with the runner. Uh, he, he is difficult to guard. How explosive is he off the dribble? If Hander over Selby, rebound Hayes, throws the strike to Robertson for the runner. Uh, this is a guy, when, as soon as he gets the ball in his hands, you've got to get up near him. You shook off some rust if you're Connecticut, but now you take another break and come back Christmas night. Oh. Robertson with the pull-up jump. And joined this year by George Blaney, who has a lot of head coaching experience himself. The turnover by the Bonnies, the breakaway. And Robinson lays it in. Tony Robertson gets his first field goal. Bremer has just five points so far. Still five and a half minutes to go. Robertson's three, and he nails it. There's some balance that we talked about. Bremer did the fadeaway game. That's his second three-pointer of the second half. He has three overall. Robertson gets inside. And he did the entire first half, even though we've only played just over six minutes. Gordon gets it back to Robertson. Penetrates. Little runner in the lane is good. Athletic move right there by Robertson. Huskies may have gotten away with a walk inside Robertson to the hole for two. And the Huskies have it. Brown looking ahead now to Robertson. And that's going to be goaltender. Yeah, nice smart play by Tilly Brown. Yeah, game surprised Connecticut fans because he showed the ability to score from 15 feet. Oh, good defense by Robertson. Picks the pocket, takes it the other way for two. Boy, I'll tell you this, Tony Robertson, George Blaney, the assistant coach, has worked hard to get con uh, confidence in Robertson. He's well, Hamilton can't get it to go. How high did Hamilton get off the feet? Wow. Wow, Tony Robertson, this has been his half, but he's displayed a lot of different skills. I think perhaps the halftime talk from Stokes was, let's get the ball inside. Mm. For three. Big answer. Got it. Yeah, big answer. Butler has it. For a real flat trajectory. That's a dribble move in transition. Oh, oh. And he finds Robertson on the baseline. There have been some pretty Connecticut basketball teams, and this team on occasion has flashes of that. Rice tried to go to back to the room and can't do it. Oh, great, great drive. Oh, it was headed for a great drive. That's right, John. Brown gets inside. No place to go. Three-pointer Robertson at the buzzer. Big time five by Brown. He was in the It's been down a bunch of times. Brown kicks it off. Robertson's three on the way. Oh, oh, he it. Boy, is that ever a big time hurt. And taking the shot clock to the last second and twice, it's been Robertson with a three to finish it off. And here's all sorts of trouble. Look at the defender, too. I mean, Rice is in a small guy. He's 6'10". He's got long arms. He's putting a hand in his face. That thing went up a little extra high, and it comes straight through. Good split by Blake Brown. Beats Robertson for three. Got it. Tony Robertson can nail the three. Got a racer. You make a mistake in the pressure. Got a man back there to erase it. Selby lost it. Brown gave it back. Robertson scores on the layup. Around. There's Selby. Stolen Robertson. He secures it. Here comes Connecticut. Down four, under two. In a hurry. Brown. In the lane, Robertson gets a look at the three. It goes. Time out, Oklahoma, in a one-point game. Well, we mentioned we didn't know how many runs Connecticut had in them, but this might be the one. Take a look here. Selby not really cognizant of Robertson's help. And it starts to break. And Talik Brown pushes it up, gets the defense shifted, and there's the kick out. Excellent job in transition by Talik Brown in decision making. But certainly it all began with the defense. This time for Virginia Tech will shift in the defense. Hayes sets the screen and a solid one for Talik Brown who penetrates and gets the ball down low. Maintain your intensity level at all times. St. John's with a big win at home two nights ago against Miami. Robertson for three, his team leading 20th of the season. Pretty passive tonight by Virginia Tech. They need to pick up the intensity. Robertson left wing three, and there's your five-point possession. Last two. Robertson defended by Matthews as they clear the middle. And Robertson goes right by him. No help out defense. And right now, 
25 point UConn lead. That equals Gordon's career high. He also had four three pointers. 28 offensive boards. That's a demolition derby for a team that takes pride in his defense. And here's Robertson on a steal and a breakaway. And Tony Robertson, a 13 point a game score, slams two down in the. Bucky, as you know, Connecticut makes a, a big point on uh, efficiency off the turnover in the fast break as we have an outside shot. That Ricky Wright basket, a 14 to 4 run that was just snapped. Because he only coached 10 years. But three final fours, yeah. incredible. And, uh, you guys had a lot of good years. Yep. I didn't know it was three final fours. Yep. Threes with 23. Now, if there is a weakness on the offensive side of Butler, it is shooting the perimeter jump shot. And Robertson with his team leading 24th playing in his old stopping ground. His college career is Ryan Gomes. Providence in the 2-3 zone again. Gordon penetrates, kick out Robertson for three. He is second of the night and 25th of the year. Figures for the 29th straight game. Mills long three. Here's Butler. Saves it in front of us. Behind the back to Robinson. How did he know he was there? Robertson was there, or he figured, I just have to send it in the general direction of our basket. Well, you know, either he has the best peripheral vision in the conference, or it was just a very opportune, opportunistic behind-the-back pass. But how about the presence of mind of throwing it down court if anyone's there, let alone a perfect entry pass? When you are close or you have the lead. A few more transition baskets are going to have to go back to man-to-man. -to -man. That opens up the tempo. Talik Brown penetrates, setting up the open three for Robertson, his third of the night. And as a result, Tony Robertson is part of his uniform the first time after he touches the ball. As he starts to spin, loses the handle. Here's Gordon, three on two. As Robertson to his left. How about that for a finish coming out of nowhere? The staple of Providence's offense, the three by either Laxa or Aaron, and neither one have been able to knock him down. And UConn gets the three at the other end. And let's see if Tim Wells tries to put a stop to this. The lead is 12. And five seconds left on the shot clock. Robertson penetrates the up and under move. And he now has a season high 20. Pretty good poise, though, for Carolina early in this basketball game. Another three. Porter playing with the left hand. Well, he's gone right, he's gone left. He's had good looks, but tough defense by UConn. Back the other way. Robertson. Oh, to pop it down to him at the other end of the floor. Brown leaves it for Robertson. Good look, and nothing but net. Point attempts outside. And don't think Lang wasn't thinking about where he was just then defensively. Robertson with the speed slashes. Well, he sliced and diced. Teams, they call him the one-man fast break. See, this backcourt of UConn is very quick, and yet they play in control. And a good example right there. And Robertson, in every shot that goes up, there's a fast break down the other end. Here comes Robertson for a layup. Track meet. Absolute track meet is Robertson. Robertson flushes down another bucket, 13 points. And this one is really out of hands. Lover is the second leading scorer on the Red Star. This is Robertson. Gets the shooter's roll. Like back to Oak before comes from Houston. Robertson, right side three, his team leading 29th of the year. The first three pointer of the night. And Glover, his first and first of the half for St. John's. Robertson, left side three, his second of the night. Gordon finds Oak before up high. There's Robertson looking for his third three of the night. Great execution. And some assists. Six a game for a four. Robertson left alone, and he drills the three. And Shooting on lead. And Fry on the inside. That pass should have never taken place. The league Brown with a steal at the other end. Oh, oh Tony Robertson, an off-balance runner. Gives you a pretty good insight as to how to recruit somebody. Recruit their dad initially. Huh? That's, that's called foresight. <laughs> yes, it, as Robertson <laughs> finds an open shot. Robertson for three, and that's his spot. 39-29, UConn. Robertson triggers it in. UConn one for six after the break. Robertson changes that with a sweet jumper. Overtime win at Arizona on Saturday, 100-98. Robertson up top, and the hot shooting continues for Tony Robertson. Gordon for Tony Robertson. 
That's a carry. Sure was. Tony baseline is good. Tony Robertson makes him sit down at the rack. Barnes uh, driving, but can't get the jump shot to go. Working hard. And the rebound is off now. And here come the uh, Huskies driving, and it oh. is Tony Robertson to the basket. Double clutching. Oh. Team the lead is 47 46 Canes. Here come the Huskies. Robertson pulling up. And the lead switch is again, this time to Connecticut, 48-47. And the rebound to Talik Brown. Huskies on the run. And Robertson can't get the finish, but basket interference, you can count. Sweep in a conference series deal, and of course, winning at least one of these important for both teams. Robertson has been in a shooting slump with a beautiful move to the basket. Doing that. Ryan Sidney with kind of a jump hook. Here comes Robertson. Full speed ahead, all the way through, and Tony Robertson with a very good play. He is a quarter, I guess, two or three years. Right now, they go to Robertson, who fires, and he hits the three-pointer. That's a big shot. Robertson did not hit a three-pointer. Rebound to Okafer. They've got numbers if they hurry. And they did. Robertson. <laughs> and I trust your instinct. A fast break. Robertson, the finish. And the reason they got that was Boston College double-teamed Okafer and left their backcourt open. Walls working hard on Butler and doesn't give him any room to create a shot. Good defense on the part of Walls. Butler also took a dribble and went nowhere. That's a no-no. Oh, Tony Robertson comes out of the Raptors at 6-2. What a second half. Five lead changes, four ties. And a big time grand slam by Tony Robertson. We're back. Don Crickey with Bob Wenzel. And we've got a good one going as Tony Robertson, who'd been quiet from the arc for four games, hits one there. And then comes in off a lead from Talik Brown and slams it down. And the game is tied at 53 all. And how about this dunk from out of the rafters, as you said? First half, five points. Second half, seven. Too much on the shot by Wall. Three on one break. Overmatch for Huskies. Lead down to Robertson. Back up, and he gets it down with a good pump fake. Nicely done. 14 for Tony Robertson. There come the Huskies. Down by four. Talik Brown will go coast to coast. No, he will not. He kicks it out to uh, Robertson. And on a running push shot, he knocks it down. The Eagles. Okafer down low, and uh, Tony Robertson is left free. And that's the bread and butter defense of both these teams. The double team on Butler has to give it up. Robertson gets it back. Shot clock at eight. Puts it up. It hits. Defensive rebounds now for Georgetown. Now Sweetney throws it away. Tony Robertson is back into the game for Ben Gordon. Flies to the basket and slices the lead to one. And Mike Hayes on the floor. There's Brown with a block. And now UConn can take the lead. It's Robertson again. Two in a row for Tony Robertson. UConn on top by one. Boy, did he get away or discontinue there? Seemed like it. Looked like it. Robertson. Got the roll. Tony Robertson. Pretty much out of his slump. Well, that was a concern of this Connecticut staff. This is a West Virginia team that can play loose. Very little on the line for them. Lee Brown right to the defense. Robertson. Three ball. That's where Tony Brown is so solid with his. And seven. 69-67 in Hartford. Oh, what a schedule, not conference schedule is outstanding. Mm -hmm. Tony Robertson, usually an outside shooter, got it to go. To the good start, he's harassed. Salik takes it away from him. Four on three. Robertson goes to the glass. Rack it up. Uncontested shots. Butler comes away again. Good luck. They pass the ball beautifully. Oh. Back to Tony Robertson. It's a clinic. It's an absolute clinic by Connecticut. It's 56 37. His conference wins. He is third all time in wins. To be handsome. Two guys with pretty good names. That Jimmy B. <laughs> John Thompson being the other one. Tony Robertson going hard to the glass. Lucky got it back in Ryan as his second field goal. Quick push on the other end, Robertson, and a foul. That's what they do so well. Lane on Tony Robertson, the quick first step, pull up, and he got it. 
See those big guys, man. You can't give them a chance to really think about what they're gonna do. <laughs> Is that personal experience you're speaking for them? Tony Robertson with a three-point shot. It's also the idea of advancing the business of college basketball. Tony Robertson off the glass. Four and a half block shots. Robertson took Buchanan in close against the first field goal of this quarter final. With easy shots like that, you know, it becomes a liability. Robertson rattles home three. He's, a, he's held his own, to say the least. Robertson, bang, bang, one-point game. Me, their best shot. And, you know, he just gives me little little bits of advice just to help me do that. And here, a nice job. He gives up the ball. The defense forgets about him. Cornette was the guy, but he was picked off. And he gets oh, 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 blocked by Humphrey. That had to be considered not reaching the rim. Otherwise, it was going down. Robertson puts down a three. It's been, you know, key the defense, starting with pressure on the ball. Robertson. Perfect possession. For the Huskies. That's right. I think they did. Turnover anyway. Yeah, Robertson right. ready to fly high. Here he goes. Yeah. By Page. Gave it to Selvi against space creators with Zavatskis. Robertson powerful dribble across the lane from the left side. The court defense that's letting him down. Robertson for three. And taken away by Gordon. Robertson. A play with some smooth confidence as the game rolled on. Tony Robertson. Arizona in that great overtime game he had earlier in the year on CBS. Lost to Maryland and Oklahoma. Really make a further run. On the wing, Robertson three. Yes. Score, but he didn't expect to make that one. And there you see Brown hitting the head with a pass. A lot more effective than the dribble. Robertson, an excellent shooter on the run. Robertson takes the middle, takes it all the way. Good gliding move on Robertson's part. Very quiet crowd. Robertson with the three. He's enjoying a big stretch here with Talik Brown on the bench. With the exception of Gordon on the floor right now for Connecticut. Robertson. Hot hand, Jim. Sensing a momentum change. Yep. Okafer got stuck. Selby kicks it back out, Robertson. Hits the jumper, his first two of the second half. And Okafer does a good job getting it to Robertson, who shakes free for the layup. Give Johnny Salvi credit. Set excellent screen there. No Gordon has been held down today. Grundy, the outstanding defender he is. Uh, Robertson, what a contribution he's given this team today. Robertson drives past Robertson banks at home. He had a hot hand against the Wolfpack last Sunday. Grevy, the formerly great player from the University of Kentucky, he said, let me tell you, they were probably happy in Bloomington, but they'll never beat the happiness in Lexington when Duke goes down in Lexington, Kentucky. Selvi wanting the challenge. Wills. Willis. And there's the shot. Bang, bang home by Robertson. And Okafer, strong rebound. Numbers here for the Huskies. Robertson, right side, banks it home. Ten point net game. Can't get control of it in time. Brown, too strong, tipped out Butler. Robertson has to take the open three. Good. This is the game that Connecticut and Jim Calhoun would like to play. The thing you'd want to do is obviously pressure the guards and make Dixon have to handle the ball a lot more than he'd like to. Robertson on the drive. He loves to shoot on the run. Selby, not a good ball handler. Gets by with it. Robertson breaks it right up the middle. Got a short memory of history. Yeah, he? how about that? I'm not going to put this in the same league as those Lenny Elmore Robertson. teams with Tom McMillan. There's the outside shot. Better take it. Underneath. Oh, and what a play. What a play by Robertson. All day, he started off with that great drive. 